Okay. Seven twenty-six. Oh, the, yeah, it's 7.26 a.m. There we go, August. I don't know if you can see that, but it's August 7th. I think I may have skipped a couple days. Oh, shit. <laughs> I think I may have skipped a couple days. Um... <laughs> I thought it was going to work. Um, so, you know what? I'll, I'll add I'll add a few days um, onto the end of my hundred days of weighing in. Um, but yeah, I'm still at 160. Uh, I'm going to be honest. I haven't really been working out at all. I wanted to at least just work on my arms, just get back into it. Cause my arms, when I like really push them, they get sore the fastest. And so I just, um, I wanted to get that down first, and then I could do legs, and, and that'll be fine. Um, and just get that going, but I haven't been doing that. Which I should, because I'm going to be starting my school semester soon. And then I will be really lazy. I guess, like, I'm not trying to seem... like I'm on like a complete healthy journey right now, <clears throat> at least with food. Obviously, you know, I do eat out a lot and I do like to cook in, don't get me wrong, we do. Um, but, um, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, I'm definitely adding little, little bits in, in uh, little bits here and there back into my diet and you know I was vegetarian for three years and like I honestly was a health nut and then me wanting to gain weight just surpassed you know like they need to be healthy and I just I gained 35 pounds I gained I think um I feel fine, but obviously I want to get rid of this. Well, I don't want to get rid of it. I just want to turn it into something. I, I, I really like how my body um, took the weight. But anyway, that was really long for a way in. Um, and I'll see you in the next one. Cooper, back in the house. Get your, get your bone, get your bone, and get back in the house. Go. shown this process but here's the update don't worry about that it's going into the green waste <laughs> chocolate Cosmo um, it's a lot of beds but they're not opening up yet and of course the hibiscus it's doing great someone already got to this little bit of pollen which is great and same with this one I know which one was like this one I don't know one of them so it's like let's just say two feet It's pretty cool. So that's we're gonna go to Green Acres right now for that. Just want to complete everything, every little bit of dirt we can. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> that uh, Titanic meme that people always use. The 1980s. It's got that moist. More? Just a little more for this. Here, in the middle here. A more. seed pods and trying to get the seeds out. I want to plant them. And when it gets too cold outside, we can keep them in the house in front of a window. <clears throat> They'll do pretty good. See, I just opened this little thing. You probably can't well, see it, but it's got a little seed in it. I did not lotion my hands or cut my nails for this, so don't you dare say anything. Alright, that's... Ew, it's got a little bug in it. Yep, makes sense. Those grabs. I'm just looking for... light colors, as opposed to dark colors. Because these ones are, are more likely to have little tiny bugs in them, larva. This is definitely enough for what I need. These can also be ground up for um, to be used as coriander, but yeah, it smells really good. It's, it's a really nice spice. Smells like coriander. Alright, well the air conditioning is starting up again, so um, yeah, this is basically how you take cilantro seeds. Okay, I'm just leave that in the hole. Add a cilantro seed pods when they're dried. And I just let mine dry on the plant. Alright, so basically I just put three seeds per each little area. I put some uh, mystery seeds on the outside because I have some left. And I'm just going to put my finger in about three to four inches in. And like not too deep because you really do want them to have a chance. Eleven o'clock. Alrighty. That's that. Alrighty, I'm gonna end the video here. Thank you for joining me in the garden, uh, sowing the seeds, planting the daisies and the coneflowers. Um, that's kind of a common theme in my life right now. Uh, I am an environmental studies major, I don't know if I mentioned that, but being in the garden is going to be a common theme uh, no matter what, so I hope nobody minded that. I know it can be a little boring, but I love it, I find it interesting, and um, I'm going to continue my way so I hope you enjoy. I will see you in the next one. Bye.